What is going on guys? We are out here today. It is Sunday, November 26th. And not only is it Sunday, November 26th, it is the second day of rifle season here in Pennsylvania. Hunted all day yesterday, hunted this morning. I have seen a lot of freaking deer um, over the past, you know, three sets, I guess you can say. Um, been a few decent bucks killed here on the family property, but there are still some freaking giants running around out here and I am yet to fill my buck tag this year. Not only have I not even killed a buck this year, I have not even killed a freaking doe yet. I haven't even taken a shot at a deer. I've drawn back on a few decent bucks, but I have not been able to put anything on the ground yet this season. Back in the early archery season, I tried to put a doe on the ground, um, but I wasn't able to hunt very much because of football and uh, just the very few sits that I got in there, I was not able to put anything on the ground. Um, and then by the time those deer started rutting, I wasn't gonna shoot a doe and ruin the chance of me killing a buck that night. So tonight, the goal is to put a big, fat, freaking mama doe on the ground and fill the freezer. Not only is the freezer empty, but guys, I'm getting really freaking impatient. I mean, really freaking impatient. I have hunted so many freaking hours to not even shoot at a deer yet this year. Um, so yeah, I'm getting really freaking impatient. Guys, I need to kill something like really freaking bad. You know, I need some meat. And I just need to get that freaking, that like itch of just wanting to kill something out of my body so that I can relax here for a little bit. But I'm going to grab the rifle. I'm going to head down to the stand, get you guys a look at my rifle. A look at the setup here for tonight and, uh, you know, what we're hunting. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to head down there real quick. It's pretty early. we got a few hours till it gets dark. But I'm going to head down there, like I said, get you guys a look at the rifle, look at the setup for tonight. And hopefully... God will send something our way. So we will see you guys down there. guys just got up in here in the box blind just kind of getting everything set up here it's pretty early um not too worried about being all that quiet right now um but i'm gonna get you guys a quick look at the rifle that i'm gonna be shooting tonight if we can get something to step out in front of us my rope for tonight is my weatherby vanguard 30 odd six absolutely freaking love this thing i mean it is like the freaking perfect deer rifle. I mean, I, I mean, I can't explain how much I love this thing. This thing is awesome. But like I said, Weatherby Vanguard 30 odd six, and for my scope, it is a Leupold VX1. I think it's a four to twelve. Four to twelve, yeah. Uh, Leupold VX1, four to twelve. They actually discontinued this exact scope. Great scope though. Um, and then the ammo that we are shooting tonight is Hornaday American Whitetail, 150 grain. Got that freaking lead tip right there. Hopefully we're gonna send that into the rib cage of a deer tonight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my bullets in here and then you guys can see that right there. I got my Tacticam 6.0, eight times zoom. Hopefully we can get some good footage with that thing tonight. But just putting the bullets in the clip here. Let me show it. I'll put in like, I don't know. We'll put in five, I guess. One more. We'll put in five for the heck of it. There we go. Safety's on. And we are ready to freaking roll. We had got the Tacticam 6.0 up there uh, on the barrel mount. Um, so yeah, this thing's pretty simple. Absolutely love this thing too. Use it, for, use it on my bow. Uh, obviously I didn't get to use it yet this year on my bow, but just freaking press that button right there and you are recording eight times zoom. And uh, especially when you're using light and knocks, um, it's nice, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking nice. But that is the rifle for tonight. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go. 
freaking excited, getting a little antsy, not gonna lie. Uh, so real quick, gonna get you guys a setup of you know, just what we're hunting over. So basically all of this is, this is just the kind of the bottom piece of my family's property down here. Right up there actually is the pond that you guys have seen me uh, fish uh, before on the channel. Um, but just down here, my uncle actually built a food plot right here. He killed about 130, 140 inch uh, mainframe 10. It was actually an 11, had a little spike coming out of its, um, the, the base out of one of its antlers. He killed a real nice buck out of that food plot here this past archery season. Um, but then it's just, I mean, it's pretty freaking simple. Um, got some locust trees down here. These deer just kind of funnel through here to head out into the fields here before dark or, you know, back in to the mountain laurel, uh, you know, for bedding in the mornings. But over here, we have a freshly cut cornfield where these deer have been just freaking destroying this thing over the past couple days. Um, you know, passed up on a lot of dough here the past, you know, two sets that I was down here. So hopefully we can get a big mama to step out tonight right at one of these cornfields. My dad actually built these um, shooting boards right here that we just got. It's getting kind of windy. It does get windy down here. We got a plastic, yeah, plastic, plastic left sled right there. That thing is freaking awesome. And you can hold steady as heck on a deer from 500 yards away. Nice little features my dad built there. Absolutely love that thing. So, yep, that's the play for tonight, guys. Just hoping a deer will step out into this cornfield or over here. My wind's kind of blowing this way, so I kind of want them to come down this way like they like they do or, you know, out here. So there is the setup for tonight. The only thing that really worries me about tonight is the wind. The wind is just so weird right now. I mean, I have seen it blow in like two or three different directions in the past 15 minutes. Um, you know, I was walking down here. First it was east, then it was blowing to the west. And now when I get up here, it's kind of blowing to the east again, I think. We'll check it real quick, see what it's doing. But it almost seems like it's just swirling and blowing in all sorts of different you know, directions. But now it's blowing. I mean, did you guys see that? It was blowing here. Now it's, it's kind of blowing nowhere now. It's like the wind just, kind of straight back I don't know like it was blowing here now it's blowing here it was blowing there I don't know I don't know I'm the biggest scent freak in the world like I spray down shower I do all that stuff wash my clothes ozone I do it all I'm not gonna lie I don't do it in rifle season I really don't probably should but I don't so Hope they don't smell me. That's about all I got. Hopefully they don't smell me, and hopefully we kill something. I am ready to shoot. I'm ready for a big loud bang. That's about it. Oh, <laughs>
actually down right in there. Oh, y'all, the plan worked out pretty well here tonight. Had this doe come out into the cornfield and probably about 150 yards. And uh, laid the freaking smack down on her. We're walking up on her now. And she came in these woods and crashed somewhere. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not quite sure exactly where, but somewhere in here. She should be laying up. So, see if we can't find her. All right, guys, here she is. That's the exit hole right there. It's a nice size doe. Not a bad one. Pretty mature deer. Probably two and a half years old, three and a half years old. Not a bad looking deer at all. All right, guys, there she is. Perfect shot right behind the shoulder. Ran about 70, 80 yards and went down, made for an easy drag job. She fell about like 50 yards from you know where we can drive wouldn't want a very hard uh drag at all but gonna get her got it up here and uh yeah there she is that's my uh 2023 pa uh, rifle season doe well guys it is about two weeks later and as you can tell i am back at my house a um, little bit change of scenery too. Um, you guys have never seen me film up here. I used to film a few intros or outros down in my old room. Just moved up here into my new room uh, and I just got my two deer mounts up. Gonna get you guys a quick look at them. This here is a nice eight point that I killed um, back in rifle season when I was 11 years old. Probably pushing 115, 120 inches. Not a very big deer, but he's got a pretty uh, symmetrical rack on him and when I was 11 this deer looked like a freaking 160 to me but nice deer here and then my other mouth right here is my big 141 inch 11 point that I killed last year uh, my first ever deer not, not even just my first ever buck my first ever deer with a compound bow hunted a lot of hours for this thing uh, he doesn't have like crazy mass obviously not wide I mean these freaking main beams almost come out and touch each other but he has some crazy height uh, that uh, left G2 is almost 13 inches long and that one's almost 12 inches long. I mean, he is unreal with the height, but yeah, there is both my deer mounts. Absolutely love them. They look freaking awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, obviously my first ever deer hunting video and uh, got to be out in God's creation and uh, put some meat in the freezer. If you guys ask me, there's not much out there that's better than that. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button down below. And if you guys want to see more awesome content like this in the very near future, hit that red subscribe button and that blue notification bell down there as well. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you guys on the next one.